Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and I am going to show you where to get skies for your composites and also how to import skies if you just want to import one sky or if you want to import a whole folder. So let's see, we'll work with this image today. And if you want to get free skies, you can go on these two stock images. This is free stock images. You do not need an account or anything. This is pexels.com. This is a free stock uh, website. You don't need to make an account, just download it or get the app on your phone. And then you go over here into the search bar and type in sky. And then you will have a whole bunch of skies to choose from. You can also select by blue skies, sunset clouds, night sky, and so on. Another one that is really, really good, it's this Unsplash. This is another free one. And let's see if we type in sky. We'll get all these skies and let's, let's choose one. Let's see how we would use it. I'm going to choose something. What do I want to choose? Maybe something here on the top. I'll just choose this one and click on this little button and now it sends it into your downloads. And now let's go back into Luminar and let's see how we will import that one sky and then I'll show you how to import a whole folder. So go to edit and then into your tools, you go into your sky dialog over here, open it out, click on sky selection and then go all the way to the bottom. I already have a lot of skies in there and click on this plus button. And when you click on that, it takes you to your computer and I am onto my downloads. That's where I put my sky and I'll click on the sky that I just downloaded and open it. And now that sky is uh, imported and apply. And as you can see, it's not a good positioning because I still have some foreground in that sky, but I can go to sky orientation and move the horizon down and that will make it a lot more believable. Now this looks like a very grainy sky. Maybe it's all right. It's not too bad. All right, now how do you import a whole album? Because you might be like me and have like thousands of skies on your desktop, or in my case, I keep most of mine on an external hard drive. So how do we import a whole folder of skies? Well, still here into the sky dialog, go into your sky selection, and then over here where it says all sky, if you click on it and go do down to the bottom, it goes to show custom skies and when you click on it, it will take you to the secret folder where Luminar Neo stores their skies. As you can see, I already have three folders here. And now what I need to do is find my album with my skies on my desktop. So I will open my browser. Let's see. Into my desktop. And I will go to where I keep some of my skies and I hope I can find them right now. I wish I would have prepared better and you know, place them so where I can find easily. Let's see, probably under overlays and then sky overlays. Let's see that, that has some skies in it. We'll go with skies overlays. So over here where I have this album with sky overlay, you wanna click on it and do not just drag it into this album because then things might get messed up. What you wanna do, you wanna right click on it and copy it. So I copied the album and now into this uh, custom dialog over here, I will go and paste it. And now this whole album of skies overlays, all the skies came into Luminar Neo. So now if I go back to my Luminar Neo and I go to these folders, sky overlay folder is right here and I can access all those skies we just downloaded. And then once we have access to them, we can click on it to select it and, you know, change the sky with just a couple of buttons. This is very, very useful to Luminar Neo, as, especially if you're photographing uh, real estate, you pretty much always, always have to, you know, replace the sky if you want to expose properly for your house then the sky will need to be replaced. Here is another thing that you should really pay attention to. In this case, this photo was taken, as you can see, I believe it's a wide angle lens and it's taken a portrait orientation. And my sky, it's so big, I think maybe it was taken with a telephoto lens. It just does not match. We see it's just tiny part of the sky over our, you know, wide angle lens image. 
So make sure your sky is kind of matching your, um, you know, image. In this case, let's see, let's put something more, something like that will work a lot better. We can scroll through some of this. That one is not bad. Maybe a little too dramatic. And then once you import your sky, ooh, that's kind of neat. Makes it very, very moody. Don't forget to go into your adjustments into the sky and, you know, mess with your horizon position if you need to flip it, mask refinements. Sometimes you have to work with that. And especially scene relight. This really, really helps to, you know, put your image together. So I usually use image relight pretty much all the time. That is it for today. Really wanted to focus more on to the how to import full folders of Sky and to Luminar Neon. Um, I am going on vacation tomorrow, so I'll be gone for the next week. Maybe I will take some Sky images uh, while I'm in vacation and maybe I'll put a pack together for you guys and give it to you so you can use it when you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.